is Samantha James. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we have a pick card for you and it's going to be should you stay or walk away. Um, I feel like this is a really interesting pick a card because I feel like a lot of us come to tarot with the intent of you know figuring out what direction to take with something and if you're at a crossroads in a connection or a relationship or if you've been receiving a lot of tarot readings and there's a lot of mixed signals, I feel like this is the perfect reading for you. So we have three piles for you today. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. If you're new to pick your cards, what you're gonna do is pause the video and figure out whichever pile or crystal you're drawn to the most. Go down below in the description box, find your timestamp, and I will see you all at your reading. My lovely souls, if you chose this crystal, this is for you. This is pile number one. Should you stay or walk away? And you will have the option to extend. The extension is going to be channeled messages, but I'm going to ask the deck, you know, let's say you guys did have an open conversation about this. What would their reply to you be? So what I channel in my channeling session in the extended is going to be you know, what they would say if there really was this conversation. And I'm not saying that there will be, but it's like, it's nice to know maybe even the probability of the conversation. And just if like all walls were down, if we were just super honest with each other, like what would this person say to you? So let's figure out, you know, what direction this is going in by starting off. I'm burning my Attract Love candle. Thank you guys so much for supporting my candle business. I have a really really cool exclusive drop coming just in time for valentine's day and i am going to announce it on my next video because it is related to sex and my next video is an 18 plus so i'm very excited about that we are running out of stock in pretty much every single candle but i have quite a few left of the attract love vessels because i double stock them so if you guys are interested in checking these out that's linked down below but let's get into it group number one should you stay or walk away so I pulled some self-care oracle because I feel like when it comes to this kind of situation, self-care is like a necessity. Today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life. We choose a new direction, unlikely, and if you believe. Okay, so these are from the angel answer oracle deck. We have a love and relationships affirmation card, reliability which I will read. And then for your Archangels, we have peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real, Archangel Shamil, and chakra clearing, Archangel Matreon. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. <sighs> okay, I'm getting very intense energy here. Some of you guys were asking me like ever since I've been pregnant and I'm super pregnant. Oh my gosh, one more month. If my intuitive abilities have changed, I wouldn't say they've changed, but they definitely heighten. I mean, I can definitely pick up on a vibe a lot more quickly than I could in the past. Um, and with this one, I'm really picking up on your vibe, group number one. So we'll see like, you know, what your person has to say and all of that. But I'm really picking up on like, just the kind of person you are and, you know, just how many chances like you give a person. I feel like you guys really have great intentions and you're really giving people like, I just want to talk about you for a second and then I will pull the tarot. I don't usually do this all the time, but I feel like because I'm getting such a strong sense. <laughs> you guys are just like the type of people that constantly give multiple chances. And and it's not to say that you're a pushover. I, I don't think that you guys are passive people. And I don't even think that you necessarily want to give people multiple chances, but you just have such a big heart and you're so empathic, meaning you're like able to really put yourself in other people's shoes that it just kind of happens that way. You just, you know, you understand, you emphasize with people, like you know that life is difficult and things get in the way. And so you don't mind like allotting these chances to people, but 
what's really shitty at the end of the day is sometimes these people really take advantage of you. And I'm not saying it's this person necessarily, but I just feel like there is a huge need for you guys to choose a new direction. And we haven't even pulled tarot yet. I don't even really know what the situation is, but I can't assume at this point that it's you should stay. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's unlikely that you should continue down this path with this person. Um, but the big but is like where your focus should go is into yourself because I feel like you put yourself last. You put your family, your friends, you know, your romantic interest that you're involved with before you. And I feel like group number one, you guys put yourself last. And maybe there's some chakras that are blocked. I feel like that blocking of these chakras are energetic blockings. They could also be getting in the way of your manifestations. Um, I feel like this attract love candle is perfect for you because it's all about self-love as well. And what you guys really need to focus on is rituals that involve yourself, centering yourself around that love, around rose quartz, um, focusing in on your heart chakra, clearing up your sacral and solar plexus chakra, um, but just really healing from within as far as like being in connections or relationships where, you know, maybe they weren't like fully toxic. Maybe even the situation I'm going to read about just like in a few moments isn't necessarily toxic, but it's just that you could find better and that you do deserve better and that you guys tend to put a, a glass ceiling on your deservingness or your value because you don't want to ask for too much. And the reason you don't want to ask for too much is because if you were to get too much and get someone that's super fabulous, you wouldn't even know how to receive it because you guys are always the ones that are on the giving end, not the receiving end. So you guys have a tough time receiving, um, which is why more self-love rituals need to be incorporated in your routine. Now, I don't know if I'm channeling, but I'm assuming I am. But let's get into it, okay? Let's pull some tarot cards and figure out should you stay or should you go? We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you're new to my channel, then hello, welcome. Um, I'm a horrible shuffler. <laughs> it's not very ASMR of me. Um, there's some like really great shufflers out there and I, Lord have I tried, but it just seems like I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so hi, but if you're returning, you already know this clunkety clunk clunk, that's how we do it here. So we have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. I do not like to see these ladies in reverse at all. And I know why they are. It's because you're not feeling very confident about yourself. Either one, because you're having a tough time putting yourself first. And therefore, you know, it's it's interesting because confidence and self-esteem is not just this thing that's like given to you. I mean, for some people, it seems like it's just given to them, but like, it's this thing you actively have to train like a muscle. And, you know, even sometimes I fall off with my own routine in manifesting self-love and self-esteem and confidence. And it's natural to go in these highs and lows and these waves. Um, but I feel like too, the reason that you also might not be feeling the best is because this person, whoever is in your life that you should walk away from is not, you know, giving you much reassurance and they're not making you feel beautiful or special. And by staying in this path, you're blocking yourself. There's something very blocked energetically about you the high priestess i'm not trying to call you out like there's something blocked about you what's wrong with you group number one but more just like i know why you don't believe there's another path that can be forged or i know why you're at this crossroads it's because you're very, like there's a lot of moon energy a lot of fog it's really hard to see past it um and for some of you this has been going on for a while for some of you you've spent a lot of time on this connection hoping that it would progress into something and you're so far deep that it's almost like you cannot see your way out of it and for others of you it could just be that you've kind of lost yourself in in putting other people first that it's tough to like find yourself out of it so two different kind of scenarios going on 
But the reason why we have these beauties here to begin with is because you are the queen of wands. Some of you quite literally, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have that in your chart predominantly, um, you are naturally confident and have a high self-esteem and value yourself and usually do put yourself first. And the high priestess, you are very intuitive, you are very empathic, but these two things, these central parts of your personality, your demeanor, your, your je ne sais quoi is like blocked completely and you're going through something right now. And it's totally fine to be going through something, but what you need to understand is whatever person is popping up here in this reading should you stay or walk away is stunting that and I don't like that for you <laughs> I don't like that for you and neither do the angels um they angels want you to choose a new new direction and clear yourself of this kind of negativity or this negative energy block and find that peace and that love within all right let's pull some more cards We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. All right, so another issue here is that this person has not romanced you the way that you deserve. Oof, too bad this is not an 18 plus because I just got a, I don't know why I got this, but I got it. Should I just say it? I should just say it. I just feel like this person like doesn't eat you out. <laughs> My baby is kicking me. <laughs> I mean, I, that's so fucking random and I should just probably shut up. But I don't know. It's like one of those things where they're not like making you feel sexy or loved. You know, they're not like taking their time with your body. They might be like a hit it and quit it type of like let, let them get their own nut. And this is not an 18 plus, but like, God damn, am I getting this? And it might be because you guys are very sexual people or sexual creatures. And I'm not saying sexual creatures and that you're like sluts at all. I'm saying that you correlate a lot of your value and self-esteem with being pleasured. And that's totally awesome because we're in this incarnation in a material world on purpose. We're here because we want to taste and feel and love and be seduced. I mean, there's no shame in that game. So I feel like this person is just like not romantic. And that's another reason you should walk away is because you've kind of like accepted them for them, which is a beautiful trait of yours. You just accept people and love people at face value. But like, as far as like deserving this, like if that's, if you want more out of someone, you can get more out of someone else. You know what I'm saying? So this person is not for you because I feel like you guys need that kind of attention. You need that kind of love. You need that kind of romance. And like, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it. I was watching like, I was watching like Selling Tampa on Netflix. Oh my gosh. Talk about like gorgeous ladies. And one of them was like talking about this divorce, how she was divorcing her husband. And she was like, you know, it's just, it's not that it was like toxic or bad. It's just, I wanted something else out of a marriage. And I really respected that sort of reply, that bottom line, because sometimes we just need, we have just different needs that need to be met. So I'm not necessarily getting that this is toxic, but I'm just getting that it's not, there's no solid foundation. It's not very stable. I don't know if this is distance or, you know, inconsistency. This person does not make you feel sexy. <laughs> Excuse me. You're kind of blocked intuitively by being with this person. You're not really at your fullest, highest potential as a spiritual soul. And then you're also on top of it, not being like pleasured the way that you need to be. I'd love to see in the extent of what this person would have to say for themselves. I mean, like, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, and we have the sun. Okay, so you're not happy. I mean, you're not happy. And it's interesting you're even on this reading because it should just be like the answer is like, I should walk away. But it's like, that's just the kind of people you are. Like, even when you're not happy, you're still questioning, should I stay? And it's because you put other people before yourself. You put other people before your own happiness. And I don't like that. I mean, I, I love that you are that person, but 
you know, at some point, there's got to be a line that's drawn. We're in 2022, group number one. You guys deserve all of these cards to be in the upright. You deserve stability and a solid foundation, consistency, and honesty. You deserve to be valued as a hot, sexy queen. You deserve to be highly, you know, intuitive and feel very connected with somebody. And you deserve to be romance. You deserve to be, like taken care of and you deserve to be happy and content. I'm literally like looking forward at a huge painting I have on my wall that was made and it's the sun tarot card. It's literally so beautiful. I'm looking at it and it's just like you guys really deserve that energy. So yeah, I didn't leave you on a cliffhanger at all. I was not like we'll figure it out at the end of this reading if you should stay or go. Like straight up like from the jump I was like yo <laughs> y'all should leave but I know it's more complex than that and I know it's complex for a reason it's because you guys are such beautiful souls like honestly at the end of the day it's just you guys have a tough time maybe you need to hear it from me or hear it from someone else that you just need to not not put yourself first <laughs> you know what I'm saying like now it's time for you to put yourself first so we have reliability. I am reliable. When I say I'll do something, I take whatever that something is seriously. This applies to all commitments, even the ones that may have seemed small and insignificant to a re less reliable me. From now on, flaking is just for dandruff commercials and cereal factories. <laughs> so yeah, reliability, but in a different channel. You know, you guys are reliable for everyone but yourself. Now it's time to really be reliable and show up for yourself. Today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life. But it's it's not just that you guys have a you don't have a problem seeing the beauty in life or even the beauty in other people. You have a problem seeing the beauty in yourself. It's time to be reliable for yourself by putting up your own boundaries and sticking to those boundaries and finding your own peace, love, and prosperity within yourself. Oh, yes. Self-love candle for you, for sure. All right, group number one. So I'm going to extend this. The extension is going to be channeled messages from your person. I would love to see what this person has to say for themselves. And we're going to do these channeled messages as we ask the cards, you know, what would the open conversation be if you were to be like, I'm walking away, you know? Okay. So what would their reply be to you if you are walking away from them? That's what I'm very curious about. That's linked down below. In the meantime, however, I love you so much, group number one. And stay you got this. You really do. I'll see you guys in the extended, but in the meantime, stay safe and stay healthy. And hopefully I'll see you in the extended. Hello, group number two. <laughs> How are you, you guys? If you chose the white adventuring, this is for you. I'm finally in my new home. It feels so good. All right, you guys. So we are going to be talking about should you stay or should you walk away? And you will have the option to extend. The extension is super interesting. The T. The extension is channeled messages from your person dependent on the answer we get in this reading. So if the answer is you should walk away, let's say you tell them, I'm going to walk away. I'm done. What would their reply to you be? What channeling can I get out of them? What would they say for themselves? All right. So it's really dependent on what we find in here. But it's gonna be channeled messages. So let's get into it. Also, one more announcement. I'm super excited to announce a really cool exclusive drop coming just in time for Valentine's Day. Ah! And I cannot wait to show it to you, but it is related to sex magic. <laughs> and I'll talk more about it on an 18 plus where it's like the crowd, or if you like choose to be in an 18 plus, then we're talking about sex anyway. But in the meantime, I am running out of stock on everything except these Attract Love candles. I still have quite a few of these because I double stocked them. If you're interested in them, that's linked down below. All right, group number two, should you stay or walk away? Surround yourself with your soul tribe. Ask for help from others. So your soul tribe. Take action. Reconsider. I'm a catch, divine order, and life review. Okay, 
So should you stay or walk away? I mean, I, I don't know just based off these cards, but I have a pretty, I have a pretty good gist of a feeling. <laughs> I feel like, okay, we definitely need to pull the tarot. I feel like you guys are manifesting a soul tribe. I mean, side note, but kind of relevant. You guys have been really focused in on finding like your people, like your friends, the people that like really connect with you. And my gosh, is it so hard to find a tribe when you're an adult? It is so hard because it's not like you're at school necessarily. And then even when you were in school, it's not like you're connected to that those people because of common interests. It's just you're in the same place at the same time type of thing. So it's interesting because I feel like you guys really are manifesting that. And that's just kind of side note, something I guess that I am channeling. Um, and then I also feel for some of you, if we're, while we're at it, while we're channeling, for some of you, I feel like you guys have been very hard on yourself. Um, because it's really hard to see the big picture. I kind of talked about this in like a, a community post that I did recently. I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but it's like, you're kind of looking at your life and just different things and you're headed into this new year and maybe you're not as like proud of yourself as you should be, but it's this energy of like, you know, there's more to the picture than meets the eye and more to the story. I feel like you guys are not quite fully there as far as like materializing some of your manifestations. And so you might be having some doubts about like where you're at in life. And I really think you shouldn't. I mean, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlining order. And you can call upon the Archangel, Archangel Ragul, because there is divine order here for you. So with that said should you stay or walk away we have five of cups in reverse okay so you're definitely trying to manifest we have the magician ten of pentacles high priestess and temperance. All right. Should you stay or walk away? So Okay. All right. So you guys have been thinking about walking away, but you should reconsider that decision and possibly stay. There is something that can be fixed within this connection um, or there's something that requires more patience in viewing. There's, you know, it could just be that the mindset that you guys have right now is that everything is going to shit. So it's not just like this connection you're questioning. You're questioning maybe your job, where you're at right now within your own life path, um, just all sorts of things. And it's kind of clouding the overall vision making you think maybe you should do a drastic change or drastic cleansing of people. I don't think so. I think that before you make any decisions, you should ask for help from others. You know, maybe your friends really like your relationship or value your person and maybe your friends are someone that you can talk to about it. Um, I don't really like that the stigma is that friends are automatically like dump him or dump her. Really don't like that attitude at all. I feel like friends need to do better. This is just general. Friends in general need to do better at hearing both sides of the situation or at least like weighing the pros and cons. I really don't like this like instant dump them energy like at all. <laughs> if life were that easy, I mean, it's just not that easy, but in your case, I feel like you have really something stable here. You could even have been with this person for a long time. Some of you could be like in an official relationship with them, or you could be headed towards that. There's a lot of security, a lot of loyalty here. Um, you guys definitely have a huge, bright future ahead of you. And I feel like you have a really nice spiritual connection with your person. 
um, and balance is about to be restored. So if something happened or if there's an argument or if, like I said, it's just this overall energy of like, what the fuck is going on? Um, first of all, full moon and cancer vibes, moon energy for sure, moon tarot card. But also it's, you know, it's the beginning of the year. So a lot of us are putting in question like our, our life path or destiny, like what's happening. And I don't think that um, this is the kind of crossroads that requires some crazy changes. I think this is more so, you know, put your life in review, take inventory of it, and just heal the things that feel unbalanced. And, and maybe this healing is just a matter of more affirmations, positive affirmations in your life because I do feel like you guys have gotten really far some of you really dealt with really bad depression and it was even worse than it might be right now where it's like you're kind of how do I even put this I'm sorry I'm like kind of out of breath you guys I'm like so fucking pregnant right now I can't even believe how my body is doing this <laughs> like ugh. sometimes I look down at my legs this is like side note sorry <laughs> So does I like looked out at my legs and I'm like, am I fat or am I swollen? I just don't even know anymore because I feel like I'm like doing the most. Like I just moved and I'm like kind of working out all the time, but I feel so fat. <laughs> okay, sorry. Side note. Hi. Um, but I'm like out of breath. <laughs> so what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say... And I have a Mercury in Taurus, so don't worry. I got you. I'll come full circle. I'm trying to say that I feel like there is a difference. I feel like in the past, it was very emotional. You were definitely thinking from a lens of depression and sadness. And now it's very intellectual. Like, you still have doubts, but you're thinking more from your mind rather than a place of sadness. And, like, you have doubts. But it's, it's a little lighter. You know, it's not like everything's great and everything's fixed. But I definitely feel like in the past, it was a heavier, you know, lens you had than you do now. Um, my point being is with the magician here and reconsider, you have the necessary tools available to you to make the right decision, whether that's taking action, communicating more properly to your person, your needs, your boundaries, or reaching out to other people and that being your kind of tool, your people, your soul tribe, your guides, your spiritual counsel, whatever it is. Um, you guys have all the necessary tools and power available within you for you and able to make a better kind of resolution to find some more balance and healing within this current connection. I'm a catch. I'm a total catch. And I know all the reasons why. I know that anyone would be lucky to be with me. And that doesn't mean I'm arrogant or snobby. Self-respect is just one of the many qualities exhibited by this complete and utter babe. <laughs> I love that. Self-love candle. That's linked down below, you guys. But seriously, like, you know, channel some self-love. Use some rose quartz. Manifest more positive energy towards yourself. Um, allow your friends, your soul tribe to talk you up, to gas you up. I mean, I really do feel like things are fine at the end of the day. And I, I feel like you should stay. I feel like you should stay. I feel like if there's anything that needs to be done, it's just to take action. And maybe taking action represents having some sort of conversation or open communication with someone, your person, perhaps about something in particular. So we are going to probably have that open communication in the extended. That's linked down below. I'm going to basically channel your person in a reply in which you're like, okay, listen, like I've been thinking about staying or going. I'm going to stay, but, and I kind of want to see what they would say to you in reply to that. So that's linked down below if you guys are interested. In the meantime, however, stay safe, stay healthy. I love you and I will see you in the extended. Hello, group number three. Welcome. If you chose the pink opal, my favorite, this is for you. Okay, so I finally moved into my new home. Ah, so much is going on. And we are going to be doing a pick a card for you. And it's should you stay or should you walk away? And the extension is juicy. It's, it's really the tea because we're doing channeled messages from your person. 
So you'll have the option to extend, but it's based off this reading. So if the answer is you should walk away, we're going to ask the deck, like, what would their reply to you be? Like, if there was just complete open communication, all the walls were down, what would this person say for themselves? Like, what would they say to you walking away or, like, thinking about walking away if you decide to stay? You know what I'm saying? That is linked down below, and I do a channeling session from your person. But in the meantime, let's get into it. Group number three. So we have a self-care oracle and it says, look for the signs and synchronicities. I love this card. We have feathers, rainbows, butterflies, crystals, 11-11, tarot cards. I've been thinking about doing a video on like, what does this repeating angel number mean? So we have within the next few weeks, forgiveness and success. We have a relationships, love and relationships card, commitment, and Archangel Michael, you are safe. Okay. So, should you stay or walk away? I mean, honestly, I feel like you should stay. I don't even know the situation. <laughs> Just based off the oracle solely, I'm like, um, yeah, you should stay. But let's see. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, so there's been some tribulation here. Some, some, some drama, we may say. I could see why you're here. It's not an obvious yes. That Nine of Swords was once in the upright. At some point, something was definitely bothering you. But, ah, don't fall. Why did you do that? <laughs> okay. Tarot cards gone wild. Okay, so death came out. I put it back in. I wasn't ready for it. Came on again because it fell on the floor. Hello. So, hi. We're here. Man, these cards are slipping out. Ten of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords. What happened? Group number three. So for some of you, you could have been with this person for a long time. <laughs> and um, recently, something happened to really hurt you, to really keep you up at night. I love the imagery of this Nine of Swords because it's like the moon, howling at the moon. But we have the fox. This person was sneaky. They did something. They were unloyal to you. I don't know if they fully, not that like it matters, but I don't think they fully did anything, but they did enough to hurt you. And if they did fully do something, if they had fully do done something, they could have really fucked you up. They could have really hurt you. You know, this, this dead deer, like roadkill, ten of swords, Jesus, just hunted, done. So... man the energy so different from the oracle i mean it's like holy shit you guys are like supposed to be together what the hell i don't know what happened um this person is your soulmate your mate your twin flame you guys are supposed to be together for a very very long time in a commitment, I don't know if you guys have children together, a marriage, a relationship. This is just the start of something very long lasting. I don't know, man. But damn, I mean. <sighs> I need to pull more cards. Five of 
of Cups sadness. Hmm. Six of Swords. It's interesting that the the route that is being laid out for you is to choose to forgive this person or they're choosing to forgive you. What have you fucked up? Whether it's you watching or it's your, your person that fucked up. And whoever fucked up needs to be forgiven um, because they fucked up. You know, but it's not the big picture of this connection. And it really is shameful that they fucked up to begin with because, you know, there is such a big picture of this connection. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't even be fucking up. There shouldn't even be something to forgive. And I know that we're going to dwell, but it's like, you guys are meant to be together. You're safe in this connection, this relationship. It's going to be very successful. And your angels are really guiding this path because quite possibly this is a divine union you could be soulmates um and you might be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicity something's happening within the next few weeks maybe a reconciliation reuniting uh, i don't know some sort of news is being brought forth in the next few weeks um something of that nature You almost, this person knows that you could cut them off or vice versa. You could cut them off. I mean, this person knows that they hurt you. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this energy, but it's like, I just feel like it was so unnecessary and immature and what they did was so stupid, but at large, so hurtful. Like, retarded or stupid, but hurtful. Um, also, I'm sorry, some of you guys don't like my use of retarded. It just, at this point, comes out of my mouth because I've been saying it for so long. Side note, since we're gonna dive into it, um, I used to work with beautiful children with developmental disorders. I feel like people that actually have autism should never, ever be called such a derogatory term as retarded. So I would never equate it to one or the other. I almost use it as like a separate cuss word because there's just no way in my world or in my mind any person could be called that. So don't think I'm trying to offend you. Yada, yada, yada. All right, <clears throat> back to the situation. Queen of Swords. Okay, so you guys could be the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have something very ten of pentacles with this person, very big. And um, what they did hurts you, but I don't even know if they understand how much it hurts you because you put up such a fierce demeanor in your feelings that you don't want to broadcast necessarily. And like, look at her face. She's just kind of like, she knows that fucking hurt, but she's just trying to like put a brave face on and just swallow it. And so now you're here, you're like, <laughs> Should I stay or walk away? Obviously, the Knight of Swords over here, this person came for you, charging you with sweet nothings. Oh, it won't happen again. And it's like, you have a tough time believing that. And that's what makes you sad. And maybe you can't even leave them with the Six of Swords. And that's another thing that makes you sad. Maybe you can't leave them because there's a bigger reason. Or maybe it's just that like you guys are so tied to each other on a spiritual sense, so connected, that it's like very hard to even imagine leaving them. You guys could have a home together, literally. Like you have been in this relationship with this person. This is not like a new person. Well, Archangel Michael is here. 
And he's saying that you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So, okay, baby is kicking. So, so something to do with um, a third party. Third parties. I feel like if I'm going to take a wild whack at it, and, you know, I'm just doing that these days. I'm just saying what comes to mind, assuming I'm channeling. Um, because something about being pregnant has really heightened my intuitive senses. I am carrying a Pisces after all. <laughs> um, this person was looking at other bitches on social media or something of that nature. It was light, but it was big enough to hurt. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a full on they like fuck somebody. It wasn't full on infidelity, but it was enough to slice and if it went all the way, could have really sliced. And this is your person. This is someone you're in a relationship with or someone that not just in a relationship or marriage with, but could have kids with. Could even have a fucking home with, you know? Like, are they swiping, looking at bitches in your guys' home? Bitches as in women or men. <laughs> Whichever way the, the cookie crumbles. Um, but like bitches as in, sorry, derogatory term. I don't mean to offend bitches. Like, you know, come on guys, stop being so sensitive. Bitches as in like other people, other men, other women. This person was checking them out, talking to them maybe. And you found out or they found out. And, um, they said it's going to end. I won't do that again. It's going to end. But that doesn't stop it from cutting. And it doesn't stop you from questioning their loyalty. And it doesn't stop it from hurting. Damn, it does not stop from hurting. It's like a whole boggle mess in the mind. You guys are definitely air signs or have a lot of that in your chart. Maybe both of you are air signs. But there's a lot of intellectual back and forth a lot of overthinking about the situation going on and you know what's heightening it mercury retrograde this full moon in cancer etc etc so you're at this reading because you're like should i i'm seeing synchronicities right i'm seeing signs but what are the signs saying are the signs telling me to walk away are they cautioning me are they telling me to stay i really feel like they're telling you to stay to choose a path of forgiveness I cannot tell you why this happened or if it will happen again. And I don't think forgiveness is about dwelling. I think forgiveness is just plainly to forgive. Um, but I can say that whatever connection you have is protected, um, not just in a spiritual sense, but from other people. So if there are bitches, men or women, <laughs> And you're worried about them coming for your man or your woman or your child or your home. They're not. They won't. Because fuck this person. No offense. If they're not protected, you are, sis, guy, group number three. You're protected. So maybe they're not super protected. Maybe if they went off into another parallel dimension with another person, blah, blah, and they were checking out other people, blah, blah, blah. Anything could happen. But you're protected. So no one's going to be showing up at your door. No one is going to be getting past your spiritual barriers. No one is going to be touching your kid, your dog, your, your man, your woman, your whatever it is that I'm sensing here. You're protected. You're safe. Okay. Um, so that's a paranoia that is streaming from this person's bullshit. And I see that and I want to stop it right there because I understand why you have it. But you can forgive without bounds without questions you can understand that this is going to be a very successful connection and the sweet smell of this beautiful candle is just like engulfing me right now oh i am such a, a scent person and i'm very picky about scents especially candles oh if it's like a strong ass scent goodbye there's a very sweet mellow vanilla scent in this rose quartz candle 
and I'm just getting like a big whiff of it right now so it just really reminds me of like good times I don't know how to explain it but you know how sometimes scents are connected to really good memories this vanilla scent to me has always been connected to really just ugh, good memories <laughs> So I got that scent, that whiff of it, because with the Ten of Pentacles popping up here, it just makes me feel like I should tell you guys and remind you guys that everything is going to be fine in this connection. I'm hoping this was a small fuck up, but your angels are telling you to forgive. You guys are going to be together. You guys are soulmates. You're probably going to have a lot of dogs or cats <laughs> or kids together. So we have commitment. I willingly accept that it's safe to topple my walls and commit completely to a relationship. It might be one that's already here or one that's on the way. Either way, those walls will have got to go. Without them, I can go further, feel freer, and love bigger than ever before. Bonus, no walls means I'll save a lot of money on picture frames. All right, group number three. So we're going to extend this. And in the extension, I want to know what your person has to say for themselves. <laughs> That is linked down below. I'm going to channel your person and we're going to channel them in as if you guys had an open conversation. Like what the fuck would they say for themselves? That's linked down below. In the meantime, however, stay safe, stay healthy. If you want to shop my manifesting love candles, that's linked down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in the extension.